Well, hello my friends. Today I'm on the outdoors. Well, this is definitely going to be something very different from my wood turning. It's not wood turning at all, but it will probably make my wood turning experience a little bit better. What I'm doing is I'm adding an addition to my shed. Uh, yep, I'm home for a couple of days. Wife uh, has been telling me she wanted a shed and, uh, you know, we went to look at sheds pre-built and nothing really could be incorporated into what I already have existing. Now, a few years back, I bought this one and uh, I bought it thinking that it was more than I needed at the time. That was before wood turning. That was before getting a lathe and all that good stuff. So uh, since then, I've gathered a few tools: uh, grinders, uh, bandsaw, drill press, <laughs> um, Oh my God, uh, you know, the, uh, the disc sander, uh, all kinds of stuff. Well, it filled up a 10 by 16 very quick. And the wife's idea, initially I thought she wanted to get a shed for herself where she could do her gardening. So I looked at that as a possibility of something that would go away from my shed. But her idea was, no, she wanted something to incorporate close to my shed where I could put certain tools. She could organize my shop. Oh, nice gesture. But I can't see having two separate buildings where if I'm working with one tool, I have to go to one building and if I need to work with another one, come back to this one. So what I'm doing is incorporating a gable end going away from the, the shed. Let me show you what I got that's existing and what I'm doing with it. So basically, my shed, when I got it, I built a burglar, I think that's what you call it. And I've already taken it apart. It was attached at the roof line and it has a wooden deck going across which is five foot about five foot by 12 and basically I'm gonna come in and line it up basically on the side of that window and the opposite window over there build my walls a door kind of I'm thinking of a door in the center but I might go off side with the door so it gives me enough wall space who knows i might bring the lathe on this addition to maintain a lot of the dust uh isolate it to this area where i will make an opening for a door over here in the middle or again maybe through the side window over here and utilize this whole wall over here this side and the front wall so it doesn't kill the, the, the space. So I will play with that as far as exactly where I'm going to be putting the door. Gone to uh, Home Depot this morning and picked up the lumber that I figure I will need. Well anyway, I've made four same style trusses as what's inside the, uh, the shed how the shed is con uh, constructed originally with uh, Simpson clips and I have to add some more but uh, those literally have to be compressed uh, with a vise uh, to, to do them right. I hammer those on just one side just to uh, get uh, things rolling and basically I'm walking it up the ladder 
and just stacking them up one against the other on the sides the uh, overhangs should hang up just below my original roof line because I got more of an overhang than I did on the original shed which is fine and uh, I have the proper option and the option I'm using the proper option would be to cut back on that uh, overhang that eave and set this uh, first one solid against the wall which I'll be removing this uh, uh, decorative uh, piece it's gonna go right in here remove my windows close that off both windows and uh, then dress the outside with uh, texture 111 which is a much nicer look than that uh, aluminum siding so I'm going to see if I can capture me standing up one of these trusses just for a minute to take one of these up to the center and stack it up. So right now I got three of the rafters up. Got one on the ground over here. Uh, don't have a way to reach it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> 